Hello again, everyone. This is Brill from Brillovision from the, uh, well, this is especially, um, especially, this is the Is It Just Me podcast. How the fuck you doing? Um, this is a very special episode where I got my good friend of mine, Sanchez, to come by and do a, I think this is his third appearance on this podcast. Mm, could be fourth. I don't know how many people actually listened to the first one I did over at that pizza port. But the point is, have fun listening to me and Sanchez spitball, talk shit about what just happened in BitConnect, um, cryptocurrency, chitter chatter. Um, what else? Talking about video gaming, PUBG, what's going on with video games these days. Enjoy, laugh a little bit, learn a little, and um, hit up, uh, oh, I got some social media here you're going to have to listen to. Uh, ba-doo, ba-doo. You can find me at Twitter at Brillovision. You can find me on Facebook, Jabril Parimal. Uh, I got a YouTube channel. You can find me using jparimal86. I'm on Spreaker and iTunes. And um, yeah, just go to my Facebook or Twitter and you'll find all this information. All my accounts. Go ahead and email me, like me, hate me, whatever. At least subscri- subscribe and share. It's at least you, all you can do is just listen because I paid a lot of good money to get this stuff recorded, to subject this to everyone. <laughs> now listen, goddammit. Enjoy the show. And this is a new episode of Brillo Vision. On this special episode, January 20th, I believe I'm recording this, 2018. I uh, have found this sound effect to be actually very cool and efficient. I have me the guest star of this episode. Yeah. On this episode, I have with you. God, I love the sound effect. What is it? I, guess. I swear, I, I can't. Well, I can't play it for you. Did I tell you they broke into my car? Tell, okay, let's introduce. <laughs> we have a very special guest. Uh, Sanchez is. Uh, whoa, whoa. Sanchez is back on the podcast. Welcome him yeah. on this very special episode. Damn it. I think it's unplugged in. Yeah, it unplugged in. This very special episode has Sanchez, and we're going to talk about what the hell just happened in BitConnect, I suppose. But also, apparently, somebody hit this guy's car. Sanchez, <laughs> tell us the story. Yo, uh, so I'm chilling, right? And then, no, nah, I, I went to, um, I was parked in a doctor's office, and, uh, it was uh, for eye. It's funny because it was for like eye, <laughs> for your eyes, I guess. It's like, a, what's a um, ophthalmology? Um, and eye doctor, yeah. I think that's what we call it, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then, and then so, I, you know, I went for my daughter. And then uh, we're leaving, right? And, then I, and I noticed. I did not notice shit. I'm just like, I'm, pull, I'm about to pull out. I'm like, okay, you know, reverse. And then I noticed this piece of plastic on my fucking hood. I'm like, what the fuck? That, you know, what the hell is this? Hold on, you're about to pull out and you see some plastic on yeah, your Yeah, I didn't notice which, it. Which nut was it? No, the not my nut no, right? on my... <laughs> <laughs> this sounds it's like a sexual story, my friend. And and then it was just on my hood and I'm like, what the fuck? And then I saw like a piece of paper. I was like, oh, hey, and I got a ticket. I don't know what this plastic is. I got a ticket. So I got out and checked the ticket. And, I'm like, and then I noticed it said, oh, sorry for hitting uh, your car or something. And then I had the lady's phone number. And then I was like, hit my car. I'm like, oh, shit. And you can see the tracks. Where she must have, like, I don't know, fucked up and went up a little hill and then reversed. I was like, well, at least she left her number and whatnot. But, yeah, I was parked and she hit my parked car, so. God damn. Okay, first of all, <laughs> that's actually really cool of somebody because I have the feeling, like, I'm not saying yeah, I, I, I wouldn't, but I expect somebody to, uh, you know, not be like, oh, fuck it, I'm out of here. I'm out. I'm not paying for shit. It's your fault somehow well, that I No, well, here's the thing. So I was right there taking pictures, just, you know, whatever. Okay, you know, because she left her phone number. If, I, if she didn't, then I'm like, oh, fuck, I'm fucked. But she left her phone number. And so well, when a lady, a, another lady approached me um, right then, and she's like, oh, no, I saw the whole thing. So I'm thinking that because someone else saw it and, you know, kind of like, off oh, That fuck. pushed her in, yeah, to, into it. Yeah, that sounds about to right. To do it, so. Um, Sorry, we're judging. <laughs> so pretty much, I was like, well, good thing, because, no, nah, it's going to get fixed and and uh, easy peasy, beautiful cover girl. Uh-huh. So it should be good. Yeah. 
Well, okay, cool. Hey, man, that's why I was here. Just saying. I, I honestly, I, yeah, I can't believe it. I think you're totally lucky because, again, I know. How the hell you hit a parked car? Yeah. Oh, no, <laughs> actually, no, no, check this out. So here's the funny part. The funny part is what I was, I called the lady up and said, hey, you know, I'm the guy you hit the car. She's like, oh, I'm sorry, this and that. And I'm like, I said, don't worry about it, you know, because I've been in an accident before. And I know how you just got to get the policy number, get their phone, the, their insurance phone number, especially uh-huh. if it was their fault. And clearly I'm parked, so it was her fault. <laughs> So she she's like, yeah, yeah, let me give you the information. I'm like, yeah, just give me your policy number. And she's like, yeah, hold on, hun. I guess she was another lady. And she's like, <laughs> she's like, hold on, I think it's a one. I'm sorry, I can't really read well, but my eyes got dilated because I guess that's what they did to my daughter too when I was there. That's how like, they test your eyes or something. This but is them talking? This is the, her talking that she, her eyes got dilated. And po- the point is, is when my daughter uh, got dilated, the doctor's like, look, her eyes, she'll be able to see blurry pretty much for the next couple of hours. That's, yeah. Right. And I was like, damn it, lady. dilated. This lady probably like hit my car thinking <laughs> her eyes oh, dilated and shit. <laughs> well, it, I don't, you know, I've had it happen, I think, when I was 10 once and never, ever since then. But all I remember was seeing up close being difficult. So I wasn't driving, so it's tough to say that I could see because I don't remember what I was looking at on the way home while my mom was driving me back from the eye doctor at the age of 10. But I do remember, like, I was playing, you know, with toys and shit like any 10-year-old would. And, like, the closer I got, you know, I don't know, like, about 12 inches from my face, I have this toy in my hand, and I cannot see the face. It was really weird. I knew who it was, but I, I that kind of description. So well, maybe, I don't know if you should yeah. be driving like that. I don't know, but, but she she uh she, she couldn't see her paws. I'm like, well, no wonder she fucking hit my car. You couldn't see shit. But <laughs> <laughs> either way, it's up to the doctor. Man. I mean, it was kind of obvious at that point. Like, you hit my car. Clearly, you're at fault. I'm parked. You you weren't, and you hit my car. So now I get a big old check, and I'm done. But no, the fix nice. is easy. You know, the good thing was easy. Yeah, I'm looking at it, just a couple clips, boom, boom, and boom. Next, next thing, if it was a bigger deal, I would I already probably taken a TJ and got it fixed for a couple hundred. It's not the best, but it would have been um, it would have been good. Like it would have been all right. Like, well, I, yeah, I don't care. You know, it's, it was it's a car. yeah, it's yeah. another car. You're just trying to make it look like it is when you first bought it. Like, yeah. how well does a fender work? You need to make sure that a that while you're driving, it's it's done well enough. So I guess it doesn't flap while it's on the freeway because that'd be stupid. Yeah, or fall off. But or anything other than that, it has no purpose. It's there for yeah. looks and maybe to cut a little bit of wind or to catch wind. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that shit works, and uh, you don't plan on reselling it. Fuck it. Yeah. So hey, you know. Easy, so I'm just chilling now. Just sitting on that money. Now, do you plan on uh, investing this money? No, no, no. Come on, man. No. What? Uh, no. What transitioning? No. What is on your mind as far as what just happened to BitConnect? Um. I, well, I remember reading about them. Uh, that one news story about they were like a pretty much. See, I don't know how that would because what are the UK based, right? I mean, is it British, right? Yeah, that, I think so. I remember if I remember right, they were. I think the UK based. I don't know how that would work. Why the US, like they, I know Texas, they had like they filed some type of shit where like they're gonna like a, send them a letter talking about like stop your business or some shit. Yeah. Uh, it was two states, right? It was Texas and I don't know the other one. I just don't remember that. And then a cease, they got two cease and desist. Yeah. So then I'm just like, well, but why the negative press? Like, what was the point of that? What a, what, what point of what? Like, why why are these states attacking them? Going, hey, you need to knock this shit off. Is are people trying to cash out in that area and paying a weird tax on it or? Well, I I just think that well to begin with it's like a Ponzi scheme. Like I think it was like a Ponzi. When Alex yeah. explained this to me, I was like, wait a minute, this sounds like who's getting who's actually getting money? And it's just one of those things where like Ponzi schemes, right? They take off the top. That's that's their money. So well, it seems like as long as yeah, ultimately you just need to get people underneath you or you know who want to invest after you to believe in it, right. and then they boost you, and then at some point. You're at the top or somewhere near the top and you just ride off and go, okay, I'm yeah. done with this wave. And then that generation gets the generation behind right. them. And I'm perfectly fine with that. That's how this shit's supposed to work, I thought. This to me sounds like 
<laughs> Social Security. <laughs> I know you're gonna say that. It's, the I thing mean, is, God, the thing is, is that whoever stops is gonna like wherever the it stops is gonna be like okay, well then, you know, that that's what's gonna bring it down. But so far, from what I understand, even people, you know, it was a it was still growing. It was one of the things where it was still growing. But I think it was just ultimately like at the end it was like okay it was too shady to 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 ignore I guess for people or the government or what have you states. Well, ult- ultimately, how is this any different than you know depositing money into your four hundred one k? It's all money. Well, the big difference I suppose is this money has already been taxed. So cool it, motherfuckers. But um, you put your money in and you don't expect to get rich anytime soon. You need people, <laughs> new people to push, you know, you up and then, you know, then you get a little pot of gold under your butt. And then when it's time, 30 years after you've put been putting money into it, it's time to cash out. This is way less amount of time. And I, I'll, I suppose it's also less believable because it's not backed by your job or whatever the fuck 401k is. My point is it's very similar where if it stopped right now, your 401k would probably crash. Your 401k is useless right now. I mean, you wanted to cash out. Yeah, cool. You get a couple thousand, but it's not what you want. What you want is going to take a shit ton of years. I hope this wouldn't take as long, but I suppose if it's the wave is being ridden that long, that means people really believe in it and that it exists. It's not just run away with your money. My point is, either way, this is investing money. Just like 401k. It's yeah. a money investment where you don't plan mm-hmm. to benefit all that quickly, but this is a lot quicker. Yeah. But I I think what it comes down to, like any damn thing, like like anything illegal, well, I guess not anything, but what I think it is is just, to be honest, like just the shit's not placed yet, like as far as taxing it. Think about it. The whole point of cryptocurrencies, especially in the beginning, like from what I when I first got, you know, heard of Bitcoin, it, you know, people, you know, well, back in what, 2009, 10, 10, yeah, 12, whatever it was. Time. Yeah. People were skeptical as fuck about the crash and just didn't trust the government and shit like that. But the, the whole point of it is the, uh, I mean, especially with the with the whole Silk Road thing was the uh, uh, you're anonymous about it. Like, you know, it's it's who's. Whose address, you know, whatever the address it is, you don't know who that person is. I mean, I'm sure they can, they have a way, I'm sure now, of tracking how, who's what, what's what. But at the end of the day, it's when it comes down to it, it's like the point of Bitcoin was the anonymous part of it, right? Like it was, it was so you can, you don't have to fear about that. And guess what? Then also you can avoid what? Taxes. I think that's what it comes down well, to. It is like the government. Can... How is the government going to collect if you don't know that you are paying or buying or what are you doing with your with your investment investment in Bitcoin? Sure. How much did it go? Let's say let's say you initially invested in Bitcoin, et cetera, X amount in the beginning, right? And let's say you're the one of those millionaires that like just average Joe that just happened to have it, right? Right now, the only way the government is doing it is by what which they did is asking Coinbase or any exchanges they can to. You know, like they asked for like was it 2013 or 14? Be anybody who from that era to give hand over the documents, like who they are. Are they gonna go get their money? Yeah, exactly. Oh, no, you're, exactly. You're. They well, are gonna do that. Okay, I I understand what you're saying, but from what I know about it, this money will dep- I mean, as long as you want it in USD, I suppose, um, it goes like straight into your bank account. So at any given point, <laughs> when it's time to do your taxes, unless you just evade that, which you could do with any source of income, either way, they're you know they're gonna find out. When your bank account is attached to your name, it's got it's digital currency, and you know you get statements and whatnot. When they find out you're just getting ten, twenty, hundred thousand dollars deposited into your account, I'm sure the bank could give a fuck. But that record is there, and I'm sure it raises a red flag. I suppose. Yeah. Well, so I, think I just it, assume you pay taxes on it on your own. No. Right? Well, that's the thing. It's right now. Like right now, let's say you your four hundred one. Your four hundred one is in a um. Everything about you it's is attached to your social yeah, security. Yeah, it's attached to you. There's everything, banking, you, anything with a bank account usually attached to you. Like, you, this is Jabril. We know who he's at. We know where he is. Yeah. We know everything about Jabril when it comes to banking and even in investing in stocks, right? The stock market, uh, even in investing in anything right now as it is, with the exception of cryptocurrencies, uh-huh. you can track that person down. Like, that, they're they're attached, like, for the most part. 
the majority of the time like you you can okay who's investing who's putting you know but as but don't you have to put your actual name and information in on some of these sites to make accounts right but does it have to be real Right, right. Like, a, like, okay, Cryptopia. I, Cryptopia, maybe for I example. Maybe I use my real. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I don't use Cryptopia. Cryptopia, for example, is not based in the U.S., but all you really need is just you don't need to verify exactly everything because they don't really care, and you just send your money there. So you see what I'm saying? Like, you don't ha- have to do that, and and that's that's what I'm trying to say. Like. I think when it comes down to it, the government's like, okay, we need to tax. Look at all these gains, of man. Of course, yeah. Well, okay. Shit, but like, that's a lot of money you, you could have taxed. Y- you're right, but I'm also new to it, so I don't really know about cashing out yet, which is very important because, I mean, at least I have an idea of how 401k cashing out works because I know it's backed to me and whatnot. Um, so if this money goes into your bank account, unless you're one of those people who just has a shit ton of bank accounts that are attached to weird names... See what I'm saying? Every every bank account has your information. It's your they want your ID. So mm-hmm. when this shit goes to you, maybe I don't know if they have my social security number, but I know the bank has my information. So when this money gets deposited in there, it says where it's from. Well, that's the thing. So then the, the question is, uh, then that's what I'm saying. Like, like for me, if I was one of those millionaires, I would slowly but surely take my money out through like another country. Right, I send my money to set up account in Mexico or something where like they don't give a fuck, and then maybe go every weekend and pick up, you know, a couple hundred or a couple thousand. I mean, and just bring it over, like crafty motherfucker, you. I'm just saying, like <laughs> you I, thought I, of I this would, on the fly. I, I would do that because, because uh, you're right. At the end of the day, is if you start inv- putting this in your, you know, depositing back into your account, cashing out, yeah, they're gonna be like, oh, why the fuck are you getting ten Gs every month or twenty or thirty, whatever. But in this case, you bring thirty cash. Cash is cash. Cash is is, is not really traceable. You can spend it, hide it, hide it in the fucking That's couch. That's one form of income. There's there's a lot of you know there are I don't know too many, but under the table jobs, I just they seem kind of hard to find. But that's a currency that's not attached to anybody's name. We just assume because it exists, I guess, in a physical form, it's already been taxed. What do you mean? Well, I'm. You never just get, for the most part, unless you have an under-the-table job, your job doesn't hand you cash. By the time they give it to you, it's already been taxed. Yeah. Or however you set it up. And then, like, you get it from your bank, and then it comes out in ones or hundreds or whatever. Right. I guess that's one of the main differences on the cryptocurrency, on the digital world. And that's the thing, though. You know, I'm telling you, man. Well, if you can, if I can spend my Litecoin to, black screen, if I can spend my Litecoin to buy things... I could see where there's a problem, but I honestly, which, which, from my point of view, I plan, I'm sorry to cut you off, but on what I plan on doing is uh, depositing the money into my bank account. And then when that time of year comes by, go and do a CPA because I assume I'm successful by the time I've cashed out. And if I cash out at $600, fuck that. I'm not probably not. <laughs> I don't know if I want to pay taxes on that. I don't know if, that I need to, but if I got tens of thousands, right. In about a year, I would just go to a CPA and go, yo, here, I got all this money and I need to pay, what, two, a third of it to the government? <laughs> Tell me how I can do this and walk away clean. So, I yeah, mean. Yeah, you could do that. I mean, that's definitely one of those things. Am but, I just a goody two-shoes who's but, trying to make money real fast? But you know what You know what else I think that's, a, like I said, is the the thing about, about it is, uh, like I said, is taxes. Right now. There's not much about it. I mean, I think uh, the way they when they, pl- they passed a the new tax law, they did include a lot of like crypto stuff. I don't, I, don't, I haven't read or anything. I, I just I just overheard or read like over Reddit that that they included some crypto stuff with it. I mean, but again, again, and also this money is not. This is money that the government has no control over. Can't print it. You know, to me, I just think like it's about control for them. Like if they can't really control who's doing what, was what, tax it, et cetera, create it or whatever you, I just think it's a, it's, it's, it's a danger. I mean, it's, it's really what it comes down to. Like, yeah, but how dangerous though? Like, are you pulling out and <laughs> just like earlier, are you pulling it all out and just going to do something else? Or are you still, you know, coin operating? Well, no, I'm telling you, I'm in, I'm in electronium, see what happens with that, but like is I that, said, is that all you're invested in? That's it. That's it. That's my my. What is that? One hit. One no. The why electronium and why electronium only? 
mm, well, they um, I like the idea of their um, of their mobile wallet thing, with their mobile cryptocurrency miner. So you'll be able to mine with your phone, apparently. And it hasn't been now yet, but in my opinion, when it comes out, we'll see. Hopefully, they market it correctly. And if they market it correctly, I think they could. The more people install it, the better it looks, and then you know, price goes up from there, etc. But for now, it's just a fucking. Might as well just wish. Oh man, shit! But you just you just went to a table. I don't I don't know how many numbers they have, but I'm assuming let's say one out of thirty, and put all your money on ten. Yeah, pretty much. Why what just I do. one basket? Because who knows which one you which one's gonna pop off. I mean, you think dividing it like four or five different ways couldn't, you know? Yeah, but you also divide your money four or five different ways. Initially, I just yeah. wanted a $80 investment. That's all I wanted. And while I was waiting for um, Bitcoin, because um, you had to go through Bitcoin to get to that. But I was waiting for because they, they hacked this thing about it. And the long story short, I had to wait. And then and while I was waiting, the my money grew. So I ended up investing like double that. So like almost 160, 170 on a Tronium. So, I mean, if I divide it up, yeah, I, I could, but I don't want to spend more than what I wanted to spend on it. It was just, it was just that, like flip a coin for 80 bucks. Am I going to be rich or not? <laughs> That's all it was. Oh, really? Yeah. Not, like, I'm, not, I'm not investing like legitimately trying to like live off of it by investing in it on gaining on the returns. But, you know, it does seem risky, but I mean, at this point, I think risky is not such a bad move. Because uh, I don't know what's going on in this world, but getting paid a lot of money to do, like, you know, a decent job doesn't seem to be Shit. that easy to acquire. Not just that, man. It, 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 fucking assholes. Whoever broke into my car, he didn't clean it up, left all the mess on the floor. Wait, what? I thought they just crashed into your car. No, not that one. My other Honda, man. They... I, I, woke, <laughs> <laughs> I woke up, right? And, I'm sorry. And then they're like... I fucking saw my hood open on my hood, my trunk. I was like, oh, hell no. But I had nothing in there that was a value. Like, But it was just like they met, left it all fucking dirty. They took my mirror. Someone took a piss in your car or something? No. I mean, it, no. I didn't. I don't smell anything, but they just, I just left mean, it dirty. Like, they took everything from the glove out and just tried to check if there was anything. I'm like, man, fuck this world. Oh, okay. It's like they trashed it to see what they could find. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. And they didn't put it back together. Yeah. I thought like they brought things outside that weren't in there. It's like this dude just got out of the beach. There's sand everywhere. <laughs> this no. other guy had oil all over him. This guy, there's a poopy in the back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, be some man. Funny that, criminals, that's, man. That's, I was like, whatever. Should have cleaned it up, assholes. But yeah, man. But no, not nothing valuable. You know, I I uh, accidentally left like the back right car door open, um, in my car. This is a story from like 2009, right in front of the house that I lived in. It was a decent neighborhood too, but not that it really mattered. Um, because I feel like that doesn't mean anything. You say it's a decent neighborhood, let, like that's just decent people living there. It's like you think people who don't af can't afford to live there don't want to hang out there. It's a nice neighborhood. <laughs> it just attracts everybody, doesn't it? But um, damn it, I think I lost my part. Oh, oh, oh. So yeah, my car door was open just a little bit, not like overtly. I think I was trying to get something, and then uh, um, I picked you know something up with two hands, put the weight against my chest, and tried to shut it with my foot, but not slam it. I suppose, but I. You know, I think uh, my mom went outside. She's like, hey, your car door's open. And I was just like, you know, it'd be weird. I was sitting down doing math homework. And I was just like, you know, it would be weird. Somebody stole my shit in there. I was like, what do I have in there? I don't know. I had to go look. I had an iPod in there. 2009, this was pretty expensive for like a, whatever I had, a 200 oh, gigabyte yeah. hard drive. Uh, fucking, you know, it was like the iPod. fat one with the, the video, the iPod. Yeah, I had one of those in there. I think there was um there was like that thing uh I didn't have like a CD player so I had something that plugged into the cigarette lighter that turned on the radio station and you can hear the music. It was like a monster cable cost like 80 bucks. There was like a flute, don't ask. A flute in the back of the car in the trunk, which you know, whatever. Apparently the thing was worth a few hundred dollars. I didn't never I never thought about it. Musical instruments are very expensive. I know this now. That was yeah, gone. Yeah. Um basically anything of value which was about to replace it all, which I didn't replace the flute, but the, all the mechanical, um, you know, software shit, I don't know, $500. That was fun. And I guess you could kind of tell 
the door was open because like it wasn't i don't think they left it open that much but like the dome it was cold outside and the dome light was on and because it was the dome light is warm you know like right above the car where the dome light sits on the top yeah yeah you, it was like all defrosted right there it was like oh, you sons of bitches i think it was a homeless person for me because they they do i've seen them in the morning sometimes uh checking the trash can i mean i guess i might have left the door by myself unlocked or something either way that's all i can i mean whatever they didn't take anything so i think they took my insurance for some reason <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I i didn't know you'll not. never be able to call in a claim what's my policy number i don't, I don't yeah, know i just had to print that shit again and we're good to go but yeah, I was like, what the fuck is my insurance? Why the hell is it not here? <laughs> oh, shit, dude. They got your information now. No. I they mean, know where you live. Yeah, phone number. That's about call it. Calling call a policy and be like, yeah, this dude had a crash with my bitch ass and just hang up the phone. <laughs> yeah. They no. just call you in like, uh, we're going to up your policy rates. We're getting random calls from homeless people. They say they're wrecking your car. We don't know who to believe, okay? But either way, all this is costing us business. <laughs> <laughs> costing us time. I'm just saying, man, if scams like that exist, how come I can't come up on BitConnect? But there's other things. That shit got shut down. I think that's what brought Bitcoin down, though. I think, I I, I really think, like, people should still be buying this shit. Buy a Bitcoin because I really still think that it's still going to hit past 20K. 20K. Simply, simply, the simple fact that, like, yeah, it's just trying to get regulated and all that, but I think that um, in the end, I mean, it's kind of too big now to, to try to, to not, to try to, like, basically get rid of it outlaw it if you will you know what i mean i think it's too big for that i mean you definitely have to do something about it i mean they're gonna try to but like i said man that is the whole point of cryptocurrencies for the most part all right so initially crypto bitcoin was like an anonymous thing who is the one buying this from who no one knows all i know is that he paid x amount of bitcoin for whatever he bought and that was why silk road came up man i don't know i just i'm just saying that i think the thing is, is like if the government tries to go more and regulate it more, it's just it's just gonna become another currency, and I think do you that wanna, that's uh, where it messes up the whole point of it. Do you want to explain Silk Road to the viewers? Silk Road. What do you mean the 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 drug? <laughs> fucking uh, was it dark internet? Whatever. I forgot the name they named. You just it. made reference to it. Yeah, and uh, yeah, I just it, it was this website where like. From what I understood, you could pay for almost any drug shipped to you. Shipped to you? How? Shipped to you, but shipped to you. They, oh, the anonymity of sellers. Right. And it was like, who paid who for what? Who knows, right? And they would ship it to you. Um, and you could also call hits on people, apparently, there. You know, you could do that. Pay them in Bitcoin. No one knows. It was the perfect shit until... Like Interesting. It's, yeah, until like someone snitched, someone snitched on someone else, and then they snitched, and it got to the point where like, yeah, it was discovered who was running the side, and then they got arrested. And blah, blah blah. That pirate dude, what's his name? Pirate? Well, oh, fuck his name. Is. I don't know. <laughs> but the point is, is that was that side. But but that was the whole point. But you know what's funny was like, yeah, that kind of gained its whole its whole um popularity. But it was one of those things where it's like, dude, that's what cryptocurrency slash bitcoin was kind of made for was like that was that kind of the way to tra tra do transactions was like hey you know i don't want no one to know what i bought no one will ever know it just it's you know and that was the beauty of it now there's still the beauty of it so, i mean but i think that the more you regulate it the the less of that you have right right so right now for example on coinbase right right now you gotta you know pretty much you buy bitcoin you pretty much gotta like Oh, it has Give, to go through so many fucking websites and wallets. Yes, and hurdles and whatnot. You give them your picture of your ID and... GDAX uh, wants that. Right. I mean, but the cool thing is it's still not quite like, you know, you still, once you get in... Okay, so basically what I'm saying is you get into... Okay, so you get into Coinbase, right? Buy your Bitcoin. Okay, they know you there. Mm -hmm. But from you there, you can send your Bitcoin somewhere else that they... From there, you can kind of lose them. They can kind of lose where, where. So they'll know, like, okay, you send it to, say, for example, I send it to Cryptopia. Mm -hmm. But Cryptopia is not U.S.-based, so they'd have to go to another country and investigate there. But from Cryptopia, I can send it somewhere else and so on. And you see what I'm saying? It's kind of starts to start bouncing around. But this, this seems a little bit scary for long-term goals. Yeah, but I'm just saying, like, 
that the anonymous part of it is, is going away slowly, it seems, but that they want it to go away, of course. But, I mean, that was the whole point. We lose point the we lose track of the anonymous part. I think it'll, it's going to, I don't know. I don't see the point of Bitcoin at that point anymore. I don't see what's the point of existing other than just existing because someone thinks it's valued at, what, 12000 13000 other than that, what, what's the point? But well, I mean, so if the anonymity goes away, which is, I think, the, was can, the base, it was the main point of it. Like, you I think, think it's going to stop making money? Well, I mean, they can't, they cannot change the anonymous part of it as far as like the whole underlying protocol, because that's how it was made, right? But I mean, what I'm saying is like, as more countries, especially first world countries, start regulating and be like, okay, if you're going to, ex- any exchanges want to open in this country, they have to, we have to have the identities of every person in the exchange. Like kind of like Coinbase is doing right now, right? They they got your shit. They yeah. got, you know, you want to buy any Bitcoin, you got to fucking give us your ID, who you are, right? Yeah. It, okay. So it's before you know it, every country is going to be doing that. Like that's the way I can see it. Like that kind of, that really narrows it down like you making you know being who you are where you are and that's what's gonna i think gonna give it up but other than that man i think uh you know bitcoin is gonna keep going up because remember protocol says that um less and less tokens are gonna be available and i think that scarcity is gonna bring it up it's gonna bring it up even higher but so far, man, I think it's all been negative. I think, uh, pe- uh, you know, I don't know who exactly or what, but I think they're just defending themselves against it right now. You know, people are trying to, like, bring it down. Countries are like, oh, we're going to ban Bitcoin trading. I think it was South Korea recently said that. And then China is ap- apparently trying to ban the, the miners over there or something like that. I mean, just this type of shit where it's, like, trying to bring it down, like you know, and... um you know, I'm just saying that's it's trying to come down, but I think it's still trying to hit 20k. I mean, I don't, I, I think it has a long way to go before it like, oh, yeah, it could crash or something. Like but oh, hmm. I I like how uh, how much you have invested in in this as far as time is concerned, but almost no money. No, I just know <laughs> what I know because of I, I just read the articles. It's interesting. I mean, I think it's. A, I think, like I said, you know, Bitcoin's pretty dope, and what it is. I and mean, to me, the, the the special part about it is the anonymous part. Like, who's buying what? Yeah. Like I said you can call hits on fucking. What is that? What was that? What was it? No, so Road. You could go. <laughs> you can have someone killed. Like, that's pretty scary shit. I know, but. I mean, I knew it existed. I just didn't know I was joining the accounts with the people <laughs> that do that. You know, it's like there's certain things. <laughs> There, uh, there's like no connections to me and most prisoners, but in this in this field, it's like, oh well, there's this guy. He's invested some coin in it. He hopes the money's gonna go up. And ne- if you're two different digits right on the end of his account number, switch those digits, and you're on the account of some guy who either pays or <laughs> receives money to kill somebody. <laughs> <laughs> it's like maybe uh, they investigate my account by accident just typing what, in the if, wrong if number. you go to jail right and they and the guy next to you is like you ask him well what are you here for and he's like oh, i fucking murdered and killed and they yeah. ask you what are you here for you're like oh i <laughs> sold some weed <laughs> bitcoin <laughs> sell any weed hey t- come on man don't do that bought some bitcoin <laughs> you know but yeah no it's, it's a very good point it's because the, uh, the difference yeah yeah, yeah, good. Co- oh, I see. Okay, you were making strong reference to uh, the big differences between how some people in there are in prison for drugs, and others are in there for actually killing people. It's pretty uh, crazy. May I see? I don't know. Is is that enough Bitcoin talk for this? I think. Yeah, overall, man. I buy. It. I would say buy. It. I still buy. It. I would buy. I am it. buying. If I was Bitcoin, still trying exactly. to buy, it, I would buy Bitcoin simply because I. I it's not into twenty k, man. It will. Um, it, it, well, now's it, the time to buy. Understand that, like, the, first of all, it's been getting a lot. Of, like the last couple of weeks, it's been getting a lot of publicity. You got fucking China already trying to ban the crypto uh, mining. That's a big deal, by the way. The biggest people mining right now, which is, by the way, mining is a way you keep this, the network secure and whatnot, is China. So if they stop China from mining, which again I don't believe so, um, you got you got a lo- loss. You lost pretty a big chunk of your network, like to secure it, but. It's funny because who cares? Because someone else will pick it up, 
And uh, this is very true. Yeah, and then you got South Korea talking about, oh, we're gonna ban any exchanges with crypto, with Bitcoin, what have you. Again, bad for crypto news. But uh, the next day, when they said that, the president of some bullshit was like, oh no, no, no we 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 didn't mean that. <laughs> so, I, mean, I retract that huge statement that affected everybody but me. Right, and it kind of to me sounded like, oh, okay, someone tried to like bring it down by it, and then here it comes back up, right? And then uh, you got this whole BitConnect going down, which I, to me was the biggest, I think the biggest um, deal that brought it down. I think that's what really brought it down to what it was. I think it hit a 10,000 a couple of days ago. But I mean, like you said, someone is going to step up. What are other other diff- uh, alternatives to BitConnect? Oh, God damn. Oh, yeah. There's um this one that I just started looking at called, was it Avor? Ador. Devor, Devor coin, Devor coin, and uh, a friend of mine was telling me about uh, Lend Connect. I haven't really looked too much into that. That's Devor funny coin. how how they sound the same, right? Big Connect, Lend Connect. Hmm. Mm-hmm. It's like LimeWire, FrostWire. This this is how you find it. I'm <laughs> telling you, dude. This whole I found this uh, yeah. this one lady's profile on uh, YouTube, just searching like Lend Connect videos or something, and this lady had about no subscribers, and about I think that was her first video. And it was just, boom, I found her, and now she's got some views on here. What are you pointing at? Is Alex? Sorry, fellas, still working. We didn't know he was working. I got caught up working on a project. You see, here's the thing, Alex. He was supposed to be the third party, even though I don't know how we, how we would have done it with the microphones. But he was supposed to be the third party for this podcast. We didn't introduce him because he never showed up. But now he's hitting us up late and going, hey, dog. Hey, <laughs> dog. Oh. Um, no, yeah. yeah, I mean, um, so do, as you can see, which no one's going to see this. This is just me and him talking uh, on Devor right here. I got this video up of basically exactly but with a little bit higher percentage right here for 25. That's what I'm telling of, uh, you. Devor coin. That's just why, like uh, right. BitConnect. That's what I'm telling you. So what it's it's like it's like, OK, did 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 stopping. What was that? Napster back in the day? Stop pirating. No, dude, just someone moved on to something else. You know, it didn't stop. The, the, the closing LimeWire stopped. Well, sure, LimeWire was easy to do, but if you really want a pirate, you really want some, it'll happen. You're going to find out. And that's what I'm saying. Like, people want to make money off this shit. Like, they see the high percentages you can make within a day, two, three, four, five, or a week, or a month. So people are just like, okay, they're a little shooken up. If anything, there's a way I see it. They're shooken up, and they're just looking for another, quote-unquote, legit website to put their money in so that's uh-huh. that's all it is once that comes back up you're gonna again you're gonna have prices from bitcoin that are again hitting 19 20 000. that's all it is to me that's how i see it because i mean everybody always says oh the end of the world but until that happens don't think of it because <laughs> not you know that's interesting how you're looking at it though because it seems like it's, it's here to stay it's it's see, what the BitConnect land Bitcoin period. Oh yeah, no, I don't. I wouldn't doubt that. But I just mean I'm only I'm, honestly I have invested in Ripple and Cordova, and that's basically it. I have some Bitcoin, but I don't really care because the at twelve thousand right now, if you have like a uh, ten and it goes up to twenty thousand, like great, like that's not even double. Like like that's a huge number increase, but double would be twenty four. So. You know, like my hundred dollars on Bitcoin would turn to two hundred dollars. I'd be like, yeah, and that's once it hits double. I don't believe it'll. I think it's already so too successful to put that much money in. But the whole lending part, um, you know, you you cut one head off and then two heads sprout up after. I don't know <laughs> that this is that new. Yeah, dude, that's exactly but what I'm saying. I feel like you're taking a look at it from not just the oh well. So here we have DAV coin. So hold it, on, hold on. I, I wanted to say, so, not, uh, what's it called? Davcoin? Whatever. Devor? Like, so there's this right here, but also that doesn't mean BitConnect is gone. Because it's one of those things where I'm down, but not out. I've I've heard someone, not just you, or not just me, <laughs> tell me, it might have been Alex, actually, that BitConnect's only gone for now. That they said that they're going to try to um, bring it back. I don't know what that means. To me, that means the small chunk of money that I have in there now is better hoping that it'll just sprout to a billion times the size of it is in about <laughs> a year's million, time. A couple of years, probably. Because otherwise, you put a couple hundred in anywhere, a savings account right now, and then you pull it out a year later, and it's a couple hundred and one dollars now. I mean, <laughs> making money doesn't seem all that 
easy as far as labor goes, you know, actually physically making the money. But if this is some kind of gold mine that'll pay off in about a year, oh, yeah, I'm totally down for it. Why yeah. not try it out? So look at what the else, um, what else are you gonna do with those couple hundred dollars? You gonna you gonna pay off a bill? So when did so when did did um when did uh BitConnect go down? Right? Was it this week? Right? Jan- you know what? It was perfect. It was like January fifteenth, sixteenth. So that was about five days, six days ago. Yep. So if you look, let's look at the at the da- DAV coin. Right? Is that the is that, is that the coin for this um lending platform? Uh yeah, well this is just the video. You want me to I'll pull this up? Yeah. You're trying to look for a spike and since the fifteenth. You know, it does look like it went up, but it also had a huge drop between the fifteenth and the nineteenth. Don't know what that's about. Don't really I don't I can't look at it this way. I just hope that it'll work out, dude, because me looking at it is great, but only if you're trying to be like, Oh, I want to pull it out real quick. I'm not gonna do that. So I feel like that's just me researching. For no avail, because it's like I can't what? change it. Yeah, well, I'm just saying. I think that um, I think these platforms are gonna take on BitConnect people that still want to make more money. I mean, who don't want to make oh, more money? So I up, think yeah. they're gonna go up, and it wouldn't be a bad idea to get in now, too. Yeah, this this price, um, as far as the coin goes, I think it was at like I watched videos from a few weeks ago, and it was about eighty dollars, and now it's at one twenty eight. So and I think it's gonna go. I think you have to. I think. Well, I have it. I have a little bit in Bitcoin. Bitcoin. <laughs> I have a little bit of Bitcoin now that I think I have to. I haven't opened up my own account yet, but I have to bring it on this website, translate it into Devorcoin, probably pay a fee of one percent of what's what I'm transferring, <sighs> um, and then uh, once I have the DAV coin, I can do the lend with that. But uh, Bitconnect, I think at the highest was at four hundred dollars. So at a minimum, in my opinion, this. Potentially, I mean, it has to compete obviously with the other similar platforms, but at a minimum, you're looking at 400 bucks. To me, that's how I see it. Because one of them will eventually pull out ahead of everybody. Wait, what do you mean 400 bucks? I'm sorry. The, the BitConnect coin, uh-huh. uh huh, that is high as in, I think, if I remember correctly, was somewhere in the 400s uh-huh. at its highest peak. So, oh, so I see these platforms. One, I mean, this is one of them, right? The Dav, mm-hmm. Devor, whatever, is one of them. There's a, there's probably a couple other ones out there that are popular. So it just a matter of which one gets more popular, which one kind of like it's kind of when you kill the boss. Who's the boss now, right? Mm-hmm. So that's what it, what it is. So no, I'm saying, I'm you not know, gonna sign up right now. I was hoping we could just see. I thought I had a website for it. This is just you us have Lend at- Connect. Is it Lend Connect another one? I don't have it. I'm just looking at the stats. But is Lend Connect bit. another same platform? Do you know? That's what I'm hearing. I but I haven't really nice. put any time into that one. That's um, I yeah. I don't want to spread everything. You know, spread it too thin. The little bit that I'm investing, so I might look into it. Maybe put a little one in each, and then hope something accrues from. But uh, you are right. It's definitely going to bring down the ultimate. If only the ultimate payout. If only one of them ends up paying out. Um. But yeah, you know, but here's the thing is I need to start making videos of this shit because I found that lady on videos. YouTube just looking for this new thing that I heard of and now she has a view. And it's like it wasn't because she was super popular. It's just because this is something that's new. So I got to be I've never been that person to keep up with trends. But God damn it. I have to do this. What's up with the to do a little switch over because I'm kind of tired of talking about this. I'm putting money in on this. And I hope this pays out. Mm, blah 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 blah. And I'll pay my damn taxes. Okay. Moving forward, <laughs> what do you want to talk about here? Let, what's okay? So, what do you think? You know, Sanch or Banyo and I recently downloaded PUBG, and I'm hoping my friend Trey is going to download it too, because then I'm down to cool. play with him Trey as songs. much as I. Yes, Trey songs. <laughs> what um, have you been playing this game? Like since last time I played, with yeah, you? no, I've been playing. It's it's fun. It, I I think it's fun. I mean, it's is. I think the um. I think uh, they got to shrink it. Okay, so I I see what you're saying though. It, when you last time we played it, you were like, it, it takes a long time to kind of get any action going, and I do see a good amount of flaws with it. But you know, I mean, I'm well, hoping that they fix it and they don't be like, oh, by the way. After you paid what was it forty bucks or whatever, 
if you want the upgraded version, play another fucking town. That would that would suck. But I hope they don't do that. But if they do do that, then I wouldn't think fuck that shit. But I think it's a good game. I like the game, except that um, the only things I have about it is like, yeah, it does kind of take too long to get an action. And when you do get an action, it's 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 like I don't know. I feel like it's too realistic. Like I think they gotta they gotta really you know. Um, kind of make it a little bit less realistic where you can, when you can, um, you know, don't die as easily. And the revive, I think, has to be faster. The don't die as easily part seems like nobody wants to do that. Like the most popular games, I suppose, like Call of Duty, they don't want to implement that. I guess it sounds weird just shooting at a human, spraying him with a shit ton of bullets. Like, why doesn't he just die right away? It's like, I don't know. Because that's kind of fun to... This is a shooter game that's basically you versus somebody else. And for as far as I know, without having a short range weapon, this is the only way to kill somebody. How about we use some tactics that aren't just hide and or get the best shot? Let's mm-hmm. use like, oh, well, you know, maybe if you aim here, which is most of the game, this takes out, you know, like a... Um, if you aim like high, it takes you know, I take it, you know, it's it's closer to a headshot. It's closer to uh, taking a lot of damage. If you shoot somebody in the leg, I mean, they don't need to fall and be like, oh my god, you shot me in the leg. No, oh, yeah, that's that's how it should how, less. That's how it is. And and but I think the biggest issue for me is like how long it takes to revive someone and all that shit. But but I think right now the biggest issue is like uh, since I played that shit, I think I've been partners when like, I played a squad, you know, or the duo, or whatever. I've been partners besides Denzel or you or whatever. I've been partners with pretty much Asian people that I don't fucking understand a lick of fucking. That you know, oh, I remember. Dude, yeah, we played. There was this Chinese guy. He just kept people. saying. I thought it was just a guy with mechanical sounds because no. he kept repeating that. What do you want to do? No. Where are we going? He One was. Of those this dude was like, we. we t- I was on this dude, and I was like, oh man. We couldn't understand shit, and he's like, "Why are you doing?" And I was like, "What is motherfucker? What the fuck are you saying?" Uh, this is the this is the problem right now. A lot of people that play the game have issues with like they're like there's too many. I don't know why, honestly, why there's a lot of they say China. I don't know if it's true China, but they say a lot of well. Playing this, first off, there's a lot of hackers. A really, is a really fun part of this game. My you understanding, don't have to, right? You could just do no. You don't have to. You could just play you and right. everyone versus everyone, right? Right. But that's that to me. That's boring. That would be of boring. Course. I would. I would. Yeah. I would be. I think I'd be bored out of my mind. I tried it. It was okay. I, but I'd rather play with someone else. It does increase your chances and therefore increases the the fun of it. I guess. Well, let's. I I have it pulled up here. Let's go ahead and l- look over this game overview real quick because I want to point out that this is not the only game of its kind. So it says this is uh, Battle Royale, which is a battle royal game. Our battle royal game mode will put up to a hundred players on a remote island. For winners, for uh, winner takes all showdown. I suppose that's just a hyphenated giant yeah. word. Where strategic gameplay is important as shooting skills. Yeah, I, okay. Players will enter a last man standing battle where they try to read online, apparently, and I can't, just can't do it. <laughs> where they try to locate weapons, vehicles, and supplies, and graphically and tactically rich battle. Gra- See, they're describing all this shit like this is all happening in one game, and this does not happen. Yeah, no, yeah. This, okay, what it seems, before I even finish this, I'm already angry because there's a hundred people that fall on this island and they're describing what the scene looks like if you're watching Battle uh, PUBG. Not if you're playing it. They're saying, look, if you had a fucking eagle's eye view and you're watching this, it's a battleground. But what's really happening is a bunch of people are working in small groups of none <laughs> or one and they're trying to just survive and they have no fucking bullets. They have one gun, maybe, so they look like a threat. They can't see shit. Everybody's way too fucking far away. Oh, that's, yeah. They're, they're describing this whole thing as, oh, this the game has this much. Like, no, not every user experiences most of what you're talking about. But let's go back. Tactically rich battleground that you don't get to experience. The, gr- the graphics are gorgeous. I'm not going to lie. That eventually forces players into shrinking play zone as they engage in tense and spectacular fights of the day. That's just adding sh- as the blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I mean, look, we get it. It's okay. marketing. You show less range or you have less range to play on and that increases the battleground size. I'm not, I have no problem with that. One of my biggest problems is it, it seemed like, A, you can drop where everybody drops. And just be like, oh, hey, I have fists. I'm going to kill you. <laughs> oh, I can't yeah. find shit. And there's just, there's so much looting going on. 
and looting is per round. That shit is so annoying. The only reason I love looting in games like Borderlands, which, god damn it, where's part three at? Is because you get to keep that weapon. And that weapon is dope for a certain amount of time if you're still gaining levels. If you're maxed out, probably doesn't get any better or worse. But less fun, I suppose. But you loot to find shit that you get to keep. This shit is per round. So if someone kills you, it's like, oh, well, I had this one gun. I don't remember what it was called because I'm not good at that kind of shit. And it had like two bullets in it and I was pretty stoked. I finally got a gun and then I got shot in the head. And then you don't spawn with the gun again. It's like, come on, man. What is this <laughs> super realism we have to see in our video games that needs to tickle everybody? To me, yeah. No, I like I said, it takes forever. The damn maps are pretty big. I wish they were like maybe half the size to, to so you can get more action faster. And because honestly, you, you, when you get killed, you get killed really quick. Like it's really like a blah, 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 and then it's done. You're done. Either you waited. <laughs> see, that's what I hate. It's what gets me mad. I'm I'm surviving for like 20 minutes, right? This thing shrinking, shrinking, and I'm just I'm I'm surviving, surviving, and then it comes down to like the last 10 people, and then it's just like I fuck I just lose a, a gunfight, and it's just like oh fuck. Well then, and you lose a gunfight within seconds. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's yeah like they, then, they talk about strategy, but it's like how much of shooting do you actually get done? It's like, I mean, you just need one bullet. Is that weird? <laughs> it's a, is it a shooting game? Mostly that's how you kill people is shooting, but people die so quick. It's like, do you ever give anybody a chance to have fun at this video game? This video yeah, game? I, I think that's what I'm saying. I think that they should shrink the, the map sizes and they should kind of like speed up the shrinking because I think that's just going to like, it's like a... It'll Flush make it, it yeah, it'll make it much faster. It'll make it like you win or you not, you know, it's like a Yeah, well here's the point to that is like I played with you and Denzel for like twenty minutes on one round and I was just like, I got a gun, let's go. I got a gun oh, there's another gun here that has three more bullets in it. Oh cool. Let's go loot, let's go loot, let's go loot, let's like fifteen to twenty minutes of this shit and I was like then I just started talking shit. And you know, I have this video, I'm probably gonna release this. I just need to edit it. It's so such a large file. But I just started talking shit because I was like, what is happening? Oh, my God. I I represent the generation. I'm pretty sure that everyone else my age does is now. What's going on now? I'm playing an interactive video game where I'm in a group of three, which I'm, I like that. And then we're just going door to door looting and there's no one to kill. Yeah, because the maps are fucking huge. And we're looting for this fucking 20, 30 minute round. Like, I, it, it's... And then just do it all over again. I, this is boring as shit. Because that 20, 30 minutes that we played that round, 20 to 30 of those minutes yeah, were that, spent yeah. not having so, any fun. Yeah, and that, 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 man, that's what I'm telling you. Like, I think they need to do that. They need to just shrink the map size. Like, I get it. You want to make it like a big world and kind of like, but it's like, I think like that's what, that's what, um, you can okay, because I can I can see what they're trying to cater to these type of gamers that are like strategy and like, but at the same time I think if you just shrink the maps, you kind of can cater to too. the ones that will just want to get in there quick play and, that, and at the same time you get ones that are, you can strategize, you know. But um, but yeah, I, I definitely think they need to shrink it, and I think they need to have more guns available. Well, what happened to like a level gaining system? And I don't just mean that at the basic stance. I mean like just as progressing throughout the game, because this is what we want as a video game. That's what I liked about so Halo, I guess. But they kind of overdid it, where it's like after you play a thousand rounds, you unlock this, and it shows that you're a gamer and all that other shit. I mean, I loved like I I, I think they took the idea from Call of Duty when Halo was doing that thing. I'm a big Halo fan, the classics. But um, the ones where they started giving like certain power ups, like you pick this character and he has this ability, and you add this ability, and you can craft your character to be slightly different than this other guy. I mean, they could be you know in the same direction, but oh, my grenades do this and his do that. Just swap everything. Like you don't. What is? Why do you have to? What's that one movie that this is kind of like? Where you just start off and everyone's supposed to die but you? What movie? There's it's like a series. I can't it's it's got that one girl, Jennifer. Uh <laughs> I can't none of us have watched this shit. This Hunger Games. Oh, good. Okay. Jennifer like Lawrence. Yeah, 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 Jennifer Lawrence. Um, but yeah, I, I don't I like building and I like to, you know, be able to differentiate myself from other characters. I guess you because you just start off naked on these fucking maps and just well, go from there. But none of it builds towards anything. I, I Every don't round know. is just the same. It's kind of like a – and I have no problem with this, but it's kind of like a fighting game, like just like Street Fighter or something like that. You, there's no building anything. You just start off each round and round and round we go. Well, 
I don't know if you, I don't, I haven't gone to this point, but I know I like, you do get shit. I don't know at what point, but you, you get to spawn with it. Now, I don't know. God it, damn it. Now, I don't know. Play a th- thousand rounds. I don't know what the limit is. I don't know what you can actually spawn with. But you can spawn with a shirt, you can spawn with pants on, you can spawn with this utility belt for, for as far as I've gone. I don't I don't know if you can spawn with a gun though. I mean I would say they, they you can spawn me with a backpack. I don't know. I mean I don't know what the limits are here. I haven't you, gone into that much. You know what I think one of the I I'm sure there's a way out of this and I just haven't found it yet because I've only played about three rounds. But there's no like training mode for anything. Like uh, again, a gun is your main source of killing anybody. I know you I mean, can either choke and... them or okay, yeah. But I mean, ideally, everyone's looking for the guns and they're hidden everywhere. So it's kind of like it's kind of like when you're playing a gun, you know, uh, fighting game or shooter game like Halo, where it's like, oh, the, everyone has a gun, but the rockets are here, and then everybody goes for the rockets because the guns will kill, but the rockets kill easier. There's guns all over the place. How about a little training mode, maybe some target practice, so not. Like live training, I guess, is the best, like on the job training, but it's 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 so few and far between. The only way to get good at it is is, is to just be better than other people at it. I mean, I guess you I, I, what I was saying earlier about I'm sure there's a way out of it. I guess you could have target practice by shooting the fence around the houses and shit. You know what I mean? Like per match, but there's no like there's no training mode. You just this is an online only game, right? And you have to play with everybody else. And there's no there's no kind of campaign or here's how you shoot. Here's what the buttons are. You just kind of fall and land and start talking shit like I did. Or those Asian people. But I know. What the hell? I think that's the biggest issue here is uh, shrink the maps. Uh, get these Asians out of there because I don't know what the <laughs> fuck. <laughs> I don't know. Get these Asians I, out of there. Dude, I'm, it's annoying. Like If you if you want to play this game and you just want to play it good, you know, just maybe may, may try to play how it's maybe quote-unquote meant to be played. You can't because especially if you're on a team, it's just these, you can't fucking understand shit. Like, I mean, I guess they, following them, they follow you. That's about it. But uh, get the Asians, I mean, hackers... Damn it! Damn There's those a shit Asian, to the hackers. The Asian hackers. Those are um, the worst. But no, no, it's a it's a solid game. It just takes too long to get into any action. Well, I, did we choose the the right game? I know it's most popular, but that never means it's the best. And I know they it, definitely is, have a lot to go though. They they, they it's, it's, a, it's still being upgraded and updated and all that shit. So. Like well, I there's say, there's I other battle didn't... royale games, right? Yeah. Is this the best one, or is it? You know... I don't know. I never really played other ones. Do you know anything about this company? No, it was. I just know that some dude, um, he right? Kinda, player unknown. Yeah, that player unknown dude. He kind of made it his own somehow. I can't remember. Maybe I'm getting it wrong. So I mean, to some degree, it's kind of weird. It's kind of like wasn't there a game being played on PC that a lot of people like? It was a shooter game, um, but it's it started just being a, it was a mod from another game. Uh, We're talking about what, what? I can't think of. I I have no idea what it's called. <laughs> it's a shooter game. It's kind of like Call of Duty, I guess, but it's been around for like decades. You're not talking about Counter Strike. Counter Strike. Thank you, my PC gamer nerd. Well, I never played it. Me? Well, I might have, but I definitely those before my PC playing days. Um, this. Yeah, I, but you know, honestly, I might just switch. I I'm kind of tired of playing with people all the time. I really should play Skyrim. I just don't know how popular that is. I'd rather just kind of play what's popular because I need some YouTube video likes and. You know, shit like that and build a channel on something. I have a nice computer. Look how beautiful these fucking graphics are. I I need to start making, you know, making it big off this. Because um, the YouTube channel is not doing all that great. And that's the point of getting PUBG. Because otherwise, we all knew. Anyone who knows me knows I didn't want I didn't want this game. This is the equivalent to Call of Duty for shooter games. Don't like that shit either. I need my Halo. I need my different. Yeah, definitely, these people can improve on it. I think, you know. I did. Uh, I think I should have bought Fortnite. Time. You some bitch. That's kind of what I'm saying. Here. I, I play once in a while. Um, well, I mean, get tired of podcast, uh, Overwatch or something. After this, let's you and I play. Do you want to get Denzel? Uh, maybe I don't know. Maybe not today. What's today? Maybe. Friday, Saturday. Today, Saturday, dog. Damn, don't feel like it. I'm off chilling over here. You chilling doing what, man? We're trying to make videos. Um, but yeah, so, um, let's see. I, I don't know of any other game that I've been looking at. 
to be honest, the Steam is just full of so much. There's the, I there's there's I'm looking for it to be like Xbox Live where they're like, hey, here's what's new and here's what's popular. And I just I sure there's a way to find it, but I mean like not what's popular downloaded. So I don't really I'm not trying to play everything with multiplayer. I need something that's popular and fun to watch on YouTube. <laughs> you know what's funny? I want to talk about that over Overwatch League. That is, I think that's the stupidest shit in the world. What about it? I don't know what. <laughs> okay, so you you know I football, play right? It. Football. Oh, okay. Football. Wait. Oh God. National Go Football League. Yep. Do you like football? Nope. You don't like the NFL. I mean, do you, I don't. I'm, I'm indifferent. Do you, do you like the um? You like baseball? Oh God, no. Okay, so you got these teams that represent cities, right? Mm-hmm. But that kind of makes sense because, um. You know, uh, right? They're being funded by the city. Well, that and they play in the stadium in the city, right? So it makes sense that like one one a team per city makes sense, right? I mean, not not that it, it's always like that. <laughs> Are you saying LA doesn't have multiple multiple? Yeah, teams? not it's always like that, but ideally, right? You you, it's kind of like it's it's kind of what you want to have, right? The situation. Anyways, uh-huh. Overwatch League apparently is doing the same shit, which I think is dumb. I I don't I don't is like that idea. Is it creepy or is it dumb? I think is I don't like the idea. I don't know why. I don't I don't know why they they So they track your ISP? No, no, no. So okay, so they have Overwatch League and these leagues have teams and the teams are for example, LA was it Gladiators? That's the Overwatch team. Six players on the team play on the league. And they and they win like the NFL Cup or whatever you know like the 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 NFL trophy. Uh huh. It's the same shit, but it just I don't know why it just feels weird to me that, they, that they're they're, they're doing this format of 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 instead of like anybody can, you know, what if you know anybody can come up can and do their their own team? I don't see why not. Like, do you think they would exclude you if you didn't use like if you didn't represent a city? See, I don't know about that. Maybe, but like, okay, so. For example, in in StarCraft, right? I know this is slightly different, but like in StarCraft, if you're really good, you climb up the ranks, you'll get invited to tournaments, right? No okay. matter who you are, for the, from what I, from how I understand it, right? You just you climb up the ranks, you grand master, you start playing against these really hard people who actually play on TV and get paid thousands of dollars, and if you end up winning against, you know, it's like anybody can come up. On that okay. game, right? Okay, well, it, it seems like the Overwatch League, it doesn't seem like, where do I apply to be a team? Like, let's say me, you, Denzel, and like three other people want to be a team, right? Uh-huh. How do we go about it to to play in a tournament in Overwatch? Well, there's no such thing. You can watch the league and watch these teams play. So they find you? Well, that's what I'm saying. That's what I hate about it. Like, I don't, I don't like that because it seems like the NFL, like, oh, you got to go through us and we'll approve. And it's just like, oh, hell no. I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. You definitely, instead of just communicating with people, like you couldn't just have the five best people in the game always be the best team because a team doesn't work that way. It's, there's not five leaders on a team. Right. Yeah. So I, I just, I just think that's stupid. Like they should have made it just like kind of Starcraft or like any team can just, just be a team and win as a team. And you climb up the ranks, and eventually, like, if you get up to the top, you get to play in these tournaments that, that big time tournaments that Blizzard hosts or other companies host that yeah. pay thousands. But in this way, it doesn't see, right now as it is. I don't, I don't know if there's a way that you can do that, like, without them approving or disapproving. Well, who do you have to go through? You know, there's no button for sure. I thought that's what it was gonna be. See, when I first said, "Oh, get ready for uh, Overwatch League," I was telling Denzel, I was like, "Dude, we should start a team." But it was. Why do we suck at that game? <laughs> well, that's the and thing. I don't like it that much. No, that's all right. It's my. It's it's just I I kind of go back to it because I get mad that I lose, so it's like it brings me back. I mean, have you? First of all, how do you know? And have you gotten better since last time I played? Oh yeah, you? dude. Like I yeah, yeah, definitely. Like there's certain characters that you just kind of like pick up on. You just eventually you keep playing with them. You you know where to what, and you just you just like anything you learn and you you'll be good at it because you know how this character aims, you know, like quickly where the, you know, to shift, uh, uh, push the buttons that will make you do certain things. Right. Yeah. Every so character. You, yeah. You know, multiple characters now. Yeah. Yeah. Multiple characters. I mean, I try to learn like one of each, um, se- yeah. uh, yeah. Section, their support or what have you, you know, 
I tried just in case my character is taken and then so on. But yeah, I mean everything. Uh, but I just I just thought that I told them all like, man, we gonna start this team, right? Not just bullshitting, but because I thought that's what it's gonna be. Like you start a team and you climb up the ranks together and yeah. Bench, but no, I, it doesn't seem like that's what it is. Like the NFL, like there's a league and you gotta go through some to hoops or something to get anything. Like I said, I thought that was stupid. I. Yeah, I totally think you're right. I thought if I were to guess that you would just be, if you wanted to just have like a team, you would just, I don't know, if you were signing in for a tournament or something, that maybe you would just put a ballot in with your name or the team of your name and then the characters on it. And, or if there's money involved, I honestly no, have no idea. No, but. so it, the characters can, doesn't matter, but it would be just like, you just play as a team. Like, it, well, okay. So right well, now, no, I don't mean what character you pick. I mean, the characters that I meant like the people on the team. Yeah. Oh, like yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah, people, yeah, names and shit. But yeah, you could obviously, well, we played the game enough to know that you're never the same character in every round. Right. And and that's what I'm saying. Like, I think that, that that's what it should have been. Like, it should have been basically like this. Here's a league. Right. And get your group together, whether it be playing across the world or next to each other, don't fucking matter. But your team is your team. Once you like sign, like kind of like play as a team initially, that's your team. So whenever you guys play initially, you guys will be playing on that team rank. You know, if you play alone, it won't affect you. You know what I mean? If you play with two, three people, it won't affect you. Like, I think that's what should have been. And then if you play with those exact same people, it automatically picks you up as a team that you want to play as a league. You know what I mean? I think you're right. I think that's that's how it should have been. It's but a little complex, but like that's where we are in the gaming community. That's where it should be. That, then, our, uh, that's not how it was gonna be. That's what I thought it was gonna be. Like, okay, we'll just keep playing together, and eventually you climb up. But if they like say you were missing, it wouldn't pick us up. How hard is it to keep those stats in your data bank? Like, oh, when he plays with this person on this team, he gets this is his average score. No, no, it, it wouldn't be so much that. It would be simple as like, okay, we when we initially. Play together. Let's say me, you, Lenzel, and three more people that we know. They play your theme song. We know. We <laughs> <laughs> we play together, right? And and it sh when you play a match, it should ask you, like, this is the team you want. And you would be like, yes. And there, that's it. That's a like registration, quote, mm -hmm. unquote. So anytime the game picks up us six playing together, it'll put us in the, in that you know, like the points count towards that league points. Yeah. Whenever we don't play us together, it's it it just ignores it. Simple as that. Just should or not. it records it if you're a different team with the other people, right? That that sounds like it would make sense to me. I'm I'm remembering though. I have a really good friend who plays um a really good friend of mine. He plays world. He played World of Warcraft, and he this is completely opposite. He just had his team. And when they, you know, it was like team of three or four, however many people you play with. But like that, that's how he entered tournaments and that's how they played. I mean, I'm sure and he played random games. It kind of sounds like how I played in Halo. You know, it's like you can play with a team of randoms and be on a team and then you could just have your boys with you. And I'm pretty sure I think Halo 2 is where they got rid of it, but they had the clans. Like I'm, you know, you, you could be part of one clan of like 20 people. I don't know what the point of it was. I suppose it's if you know someone on there, you could have some mm. people to play with or I don't know what. I mean, it wasn't all that popular in that game as far as I remember. I didn't like it. So fuck you. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know. <laughs> that man. Was my I thought that's what it should have been like. But instead, it's just, I don't know. Fuck up shit. And you got to watch and I ain't watching shit. Yeah. I say um, one. I just want to trash uh, Overwatch, but I don't have a physical copy of it. So it just it's gonna stay on my hard drive. <laughs> um, how about we, we can just always re-download it? I mean, no, yeah, yeah. that's not what I'm trying to say, man. I just I oh. I want to trash <laughs> that game. I just I don't have it. It's on a hard drive, so I'm not gonna delete it. I'm gonna keep it there. I just I how about we play something else? This PUBG shit. I if my boy Trey's down to pick it up, I do want to make some YouTube videos. But this game does not seem all that fun. At least he could bring some humor. With me, and we can have a good time. What was that? What, then that one dude that we played with that one time in Long Beach or something? Uh, we played once with a friend, um, my friend Brian on Overwatch. Yeah, it wasn't yeah, it's not Trey. He's funny. Yeah, but um, I we never got him to play with us again, and that's the same goes for just me and him. Like it wasn't like he didn't want to play with you and me. He never wants to play with me. So, <laughs> your bro sucks. Yeah, Brian. I hope you're hearing this, you son of a bitch. <laughs> You can hit me up, goddamn! I got a PC, so we can play some goddamn games online, and I end up playing 
alone or games I hate with Sanchez and Banyo. I mean, uh, Denzel. Denzel, yo! Whoa! Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, I'm kind of wearing out on this and I um, think I'm about all talked out for right now. Yeah. How you feeling? I'm good. Ready to wrap this up? So. All right, I'm probably going to hopefully do an intro on this one, but um, this is the end of Is It Just Me? Starring Brill and guest host Sanchez on January 20th, <laughs> 2018. But we're going to release this on a different day because I have to listen and try to edit. There's like a minute I want to cut from this and I don't want to submit to anybody. But um, it was great having you, man. It's good talking to everybody. Uh, send, um, I... Uh, <laughs> Next, I believe my next is it just me podcast. I'm going to have guest host Trey from the Infinity Warm Up podcast. And um, I think about a week from now, I'm going to record a, Is It Just Me with, um, this is a lot of podcasts. I don't know if I can handle it. With a friend named Mike. We're going to have to introduce him once he actually gets here. But I'll see everybody later. And hopefully, you'll subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs> subscribe and like Twitter and such. Uh, Mm -hmm. No. No.